Before we review the Prezi dashboard, where we see our initial options, where all of our presentations are, and we spoke about folders and all the different options that we find in the main dashboard. In this video, let's talk about the Prezi card. The Prezi card is where we have the options specific to this presentation. The main dashboard, is general to the software. In this case, we are taking a look at the options for each uh, Prezi presentation. This is this Prezi's card. We can add collaborators in this section, and those collaborators can present, comment, or edit. We will talk more about permissions further on. We can also create a new link. This is super important. With create a new link, we are able to share our presentation because the link that we see in edit mode is not what we are looking to share with other people. Otherwise, they won't be able to access the presentation. When you create a link, teach me Prezi course, and I want to track this on analytics, which is a full chapter apart we will get there and you can also ask decide if you want to ask or not for the viewer name and email so you know who is watching your presentations but take a look to the analytics chapter lesson for that the point is that on a Prezi card we can create the links needed to share the presentation oh, I created it twice and this is the link that you are going to to share with other people so they can watch the presentation by themselves. You can also add the presentation to a folder, any of the folders that you have created before. Watch the lesson about folders and organizing your presentations uh, to understand more about this. You can also export your presentation to PDF, which is not perfect, but it's useful many times so this is a good option when an investor asks you for a hard copy of the presentation you give them a pdf and with the option to download your presentation for offline use you will actually get a file when you click here you won't see because when i click it and when i click on download it will open on a different screen that i'm not recording the point is that when you click on export and download the file you can bring that presentation in a flash drive or send to someone or any way you want and present with it offline um, from any computer without the need to have the Prezi software installed the presenter tools are to present live when you click on live Prezi you will get unique url browser address that people can click to watch you broadcasting your presentation. Presenter view is presenter notes. So you can have the presentation on a big screen and your notes in your laptop screen. With Prezi Remote, you can control the presentation with your phone. It connects uh, through Bluetooth and you can use gestures like pinching in to zoom out or pinching out to zoom in, you can tap next, forward. You can have complete control of the presentation in a non-linear way from your phone to the presentation that you are presenting with your laptop or on a big screen. You can, of course, change the name and you have the options to present, to edit the presentation, to add comments, which means that the presentation will be open and you can add comments to specific points of the presentation and to make a copy. You can duplicate your presentation, for example, for backup purposes or because you need different versions. 